Hey guys, Brandon here, and today is Tuesday, March 27th, which means we are going to go in another grocery haul. So today I'm going to go to Whole Foods yet again. It is really, really close to where I live, and I just really like it because it's got a lot of good choices. A little bit more expensive, but like I've mentioned before, sacrifice on other parts of life. To be able to afford a little bit more expensive of a grocery budget in order to, you know, meet my body's needs and be able to stay as healthy as possible. So today we're just going to get... Um, Ran out of vinegar this week, so I'm going to get some coconut vinegar, apple cider vinegar. I'm going to get some veggies, some I hadn't seen in a while, squash, zucchini, stuff like that. I'm going to get some more frozen berries. Ran out of protein powder, so I'm going to pick some up there. I love the fact that Whole Foods has SFH. I love SFH. It's a really clean, really quality protein powder, so I really like that. I'm going to pick up some lemons and limes, kombucha, and I'm going to try and find some lion's mane. I watched the video that said it's really good to mix with green tea in the matcha form and I've got some matcha powder right here and so supposedly just like you know absorbs digest works a whole lot better mixed with lion's mane so I'm gonna see if Whole Foods has some lion's mane I got some other stuff up on here but it's just some like regular stuff anyway guys let's go ahead and get started and head to Whole Foods so guys I just got back from Whole Foods got a bunch of stuff today it's a little bit more expensive because like I said I ran out of vinegar last week and I ran out of protein so I had to buy both of those and Protein, as we know, is really, really expensive. I think it was like 50 something per bag. I bought two bags, so that already puts my bill at $100 right there. But not a big deal. Two bags of protein will probably last me the next month and a half to two months. So we'll be good on that. And got all my supplements last week, so hopefully next week is like way, way less. But I did spend right under $250 this week. Also, my trip was a little bit longer because I ran into one of my friends that I used to train to the gym with. She switched gyms, I did not, so we don't see each other near as much, and I've only seen her at school once this semester, it was like the very first day, and then we hadn't crossed paths since. But I saw her at the grocery store today, so that was really, really cool. Anyway guys, let's go get the groceries and start unpacking them. Okay guys, here we've got three bags today, plus a bottle of kombucha, which I'm actually going to pour me a cup real soon, uh, as soon as I get done recording this video, because I hadn't had some in a while. And the reason I hadn't had some in a while is because when I run out of groceries, I don't go to the grocery store but once a week because it helps me spend less money. I know, you're like, man, you spend so much money at the store. But going once a week to the store actually does help me spend less. It makes me aware of what I buy. Also, it helps things not go bad because I, when I run out of one thing, I am forced to use whatever's left over in the house. So that's good. Anyway, start here. Got me two things of protein. One is SFH Fuel, and it's got MCTs and fiber in it. It's got a little bit higher fat content because of those MCTs, but it's their fuel. And then I got the Pure for like training purposes. The fuel is if I want like a smoothie or something like that. This is obviously for my protein shakes before and after training. Got me coconut vinegar and apple cider vinegar in my drinks that I drink every morning and every evening. I use apple cider vinegar in the morning and I use coconut vinegar in the evening. Apple cider vinegar has a little bit better content when it comes to the mother. Coconut vinegar has a little bit better content when it comes to vitamins and minerals. So that's why I use both in my diet on a daily basis. I got me some more kettle and fire bone broth. One is for me, I'll use it at some point. The other one is for the meal that I'm going to cook for one of our coaches going away party. He is moving out to Austin, Texas and we're having a little get together where we all bring crock pot slash slow cooker meals. So I'm going to make a gumbo jambalaya sort of deal. It's kind of a mix between both, but I use bone broth for it and it's really, really delicious. I got me six lemons and six limes for the drink that I use every morning and every evening as well. I got me some more frozen fruit. I got me the tropical fruit medley and the berry blend. This is honestly my favorite. If I wasn't trying to get variety in my life, I would honestly just get the tropical fruit every single time. But I, you know, trying to go for that variety, so. Okay, so I got me a tomato and an onion. I am gonna use these in like the next couple minutes because I'm gonna cook me a cheeseburger, except it's gonna have no cheese and no bun. But I am gonna slice me up some tomato, slice me up some onion, throw a little bit of cayenne pepper seasoning on there, a little bit of hot sauce as well, and it's gonna be really, really good. I think that I'm either gonna use ground beef or ground lamb. Both of those that I bought today have a pretty high fat content and I need a little bit of fat on my diet today. So I got me some of these Brat Hans Bratwurst chicken sausage. They're so, so good. Super high in protein, super low in fat, and that is why I love them. So some of these are gonna go in my jambalaya gumbo that I was talking about fixing this weekend. Super simple, they are so simple because they're fully cooked. All I have to do is pop them on the plate, throw them in the microwave, heat them up, 
can cook them on the stove too as well, but honestly when I'm in like a super big hurry and I don't have time to actually cook raw meat, this is what I'm going to choose. Okay guys, so I got me some squash and zucchini. Not my favorite vegetable in the world, but it is something that I do like to eat because I don't hate it. And it's pretty simple, honestly. It cooks really, really easily and it's pretty... I don't like vegetables, but for vegetables they're pretty good. Okay, asparagus. Asparagus is probably my favorite vegetable because, I don't know, I think it tastes pretty good. I like putting oil and salt and pepper on it and super simple. You just cut the bases off, throw it on the pan, and it's set to go. I'm getting addicted to these chickens. They are so good and so easy. And I think the reason they're so good is because they're marinated already. When you buy them, they are, have been marinating for at least a little bit. I mean, I guess they could have put them out on the shelf right before you got there, but I suspect that's not the case. But honestly, I love, they're just like boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And they, I've got the Jamaican jerk, I've got the garlic and herb, and honestly the garlic and herb is so good. I think it's probably my favorite. And the pollo asada. Honestly, all these are so good. And last but not least, I got me some ground beef, I got me some ground lamb, and I got me some ground bison. And so the bison, I think, has the lowest fat content out of these three. It's got 11 grams of fat, zero carbs, 23 grams of protein per serving, four ounce serving. This has 16, the lamb has 16 grams of fat, one gram of carb, and 20 grams of protein per serving. And then the ground beef has 17 grams of fat, zero grams of carbs, and 21 grams of protein per serving. So I think today I'm either gonna go beef or lamb because like I said, like I mentioned just a second ago, I need a little bit more fat in my diet. Hadn't had a whole lot of fat today, had a lot of carbs, um, good amount of protein already. So probably gonna go with something of higher fat content and not the bison. But anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in on this week's grocery haul. It was a little more expensive, I know, and it breaks my heart. Next week should be back down way, way, way closer to 100, if not under 100 for next week's grocery haul. So I'm like gonna cross my fingers for it. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're looking for more content like this or anything related to health, fitness, diet, and nutrition, be sure to check out my channel and subscribe to it. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Later.